Afternoon, everybody. Happy Father's Day for everybody out there. Um, this is an update on me and my wife's um, my wife's battle with um, breast cancer. Um, I did it. This is uh, a second take. I did a video on Friday. It didn't take. It wouldn't upload. So I'm, I'm filming another one today. Um, we had a couple appointments this past week. On Monday, we went in and had a, another mammogram and a ultrasound. I thought we were going in for a PET scan, but it turns out we weren't. We were just in for two quick scans because it was done and. 20 some minutes. I couldn't believe how fast it was done. And uh, the PET scan takes a little over an hour. Um, we went in, the doctor was pretty happy with the scan. He, 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 you know, he showed my wife what it was. He goes, the tumor shrunk, um, wasn't gone. My, my wife was a little bummed. Um, she was pretty, a little depressed for the rest of the day because she was hoping to hear it was, there was no more tumor. And uh, that wasn't the case. Um, but um, we went in for a follow-up with the oncologist to look at the results of that, though, and he couldn't have been happier. I mean, couldn't have been happier. He was in—he was, you know, just really happy because um, it, it, he said the tumor has shrunk in half since we started chemo. He said it was six centimeters when we started. It was about three centimeters now, and he said that's exactly what we, he wanted to see. I mean, he, you know, he, he told my wife it was—it was not, you know. You weren't going to see no tumor, but um, he told her this is exactly what we wanted to see. It's exactly what chemo was designed to do, shrink it to the point where she can now have surgery. He then pulled out his phone, called the chief the chief general surgeon of the hospital and uh, made an appointment with her. And she um, she's going to call my wife tomorrow to set up an appointment for her um, mastectomy. Um, we could have waited. For, they, they have just in the process of hiring an actual breast surgeon but that would have delayed us probably about three weeks or so. And um, we got, you know, my wife is looking at a lot, my wife looking ahead better than I was, which, you know, it should have been my job to do, but it was more, she looked ahead and she goes, oh, we can't be delayed a few weeks because I'm going to have to take these, you know, our grandkids back to school in late August. So I can't have a delay of three weeks. So this surgeon's going to call Monday, set up an appointment for us and, and get us, set us on the path to getting into getting her surgery. Talk about some things, talk about you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be, you know, single mastectomy, double. It's pretty sure it's gonna be just a double because we don't want to take any chances. She's too old, and um, whether there'll be any cosmetic surgery at the same time to, or what have you. you now, lots of things to talk about and when we, can, how early we can do it, and the doctor wants to do it as soon as possible. But um, you have to wait four to six weeks after your last chemo before you can have surgery. Your um, immune system's got to build back up. Your white blood cells, all that stuff has to build back up. So. Um, that means it's July because we had our last chemo the day after the day after Memorial Day. So that's sometime in early July. So we're gonna recuperate throughout the month of June here. We have we do have a PET scan at the uh, end of June. Um, and we'll see if there, he's pretty confident that if the tumor shrunk that much from chemo, that the the the, the other spots of cancer she had under her collarbone, or having her lymph nodes, he's well, he's he's extremely positive that those will be gone so but we we do have to do the scan you can't you know we don't want to assume so we'll have the scan here at the end of the month um even if they're still even if those spots are still there the doctor will be able to to deliver to take those out too when they do the mastectomy so at least that's the thinking or the point i got from the doctor so it was a good week um like i said my wife was a little disappointed but she got her hopes up Hoping she'd just hear, hey, the tumor is totally gone, everything's good, la la la. No, 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 that's not the case. She still has cancer, um, but the chemo did exactly what it was designed to do. And we're in a good mood, and I'm in a good mood, and um, we're on our way to recovery. You know, if that's what, you know, obviously in God's will, it's not in our hands. But um, we had the chief oncologist, I didn't realize our, our oncologist was the chief of oncology, and now we have the chief of surgery. So we're in, we're in good hands. God has put us, put us in great hands. To take care of my wife so everything's being done that can be done um i probably won't have another update till we do our pet scan and see how that came out um and uh maybe i'll do another update maybe monday or tuesday i can see tell you what the breast surgeon not the breast surgeon what the surgeon said to my wife tomorrow when she calls her so um i, th I thank everybody for tuning in i uh, thank you for being along and um god bless you and have a great day happy father's day